All right, what's up everyone and welcome to another episode of the Strength Classroom. Today, I'm going to talk about my two favorite shrugging exercises. Now, I should preface this with the fact that I don't do a lot of shrugs and a lot of people ask how I got my traps big, like what kind of shrugs do I do? So I should preface that my traps never really grew from doing shrugs only. Now I'm not saying I have the biggest traps in the world, but when I do have my traps exposed, that's probably the first muscle group that people draw their attention to. Now, what I did for my traps to grow, I've noticed lately, I've just been doing any form of trap bar deadlifting, have been lighting them up. That's as of recent, but when I was younger, I would do a lot of heavy cheat dumbbell rows, and also known as croc rows, and I would also do a lot of snatch grip high pulls. My traps responded very well to those exercises. And also doing variations of light upper back work. So like T raises, uh, face pulls, those really not so much the upper traps, but the middle traps, which just make, make the whole trap complex pop a lot more. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about my two favorite shrug variations. So if I have to do shrugs, they basically serve more than one purpose, as you'll see. But let's talk about why I don't really do traditional barbell shrugs. Number one, they never feel right. I feel them dragging up and down my leg. I feel like there's a shit ton of resistance and it doesn't really hit my traps that much. I just feel like I'm getting a really good stretch at the bottom but the exercise that does that as well is just deadlifting and holding at the top. So there's no point adding an exercise that is already accomplished by something else. And I also tried behind the back shrug so it didn't have to rub up against my thighs, but then I just felt the bar like basically hitting my ass the whole time and I wouldn't get a really good contraction. So my problem was that the barbell was scraping up and down my thighs. So you might be suggesting to me right now, hey, why don't you just do dumbbell shrugs? However, with dumbbell shrugs, as they get bigger, all they did was like kind of suck to the sides of my body and then scrape up against the sides. So it was just replacing one type of problem with another problem and they both did not feel that great. If you are trying to grow your traps and you cannot deadlift an appreciable amount of weight, I'm gonna have to stop you right there. Because if you cannot deadlift at least 1.5 or double your body weight and you're complaining that your traps aren't growing, I think we've identified the problem. You'll never see someone that can deadlift big with small traps. Now, here's where you enter my first Strength Classroom approved shrug variation. This is the trap bar shrug. It eliminates both problems in the barbell and dumbbell shrug. Number one, because you are standing inside the implement or inside the bar, it's, you're not rubbing up against anything. And bonus, you're slightly gripping wider, which allows you to pull up and in. Now, if you wanna go super heavy, go ahead and strap up. You don't want your grip to limit what your traps can hold. However, you can get a bang for your buck exercise here, making it a grip exercise and a trap exercise in one. See, this is why I approve this variation because traps are really not a weak point for me, especially upper traps. So I like to get some grip work in there as well. And because I'm using fairly heavy weight, it's some overall body stability as well. Now let's move on to the second Strength Classroom approved shrug variation. It is the one arm barbell shrug. Now this exercise is actually very challenging and I know what you're probably thinking, why can't I do this with a dumbbell? Well, rewatch the beginning of the video and you'll know why. So. The reason I like this is number one, it's a great grip exercise if you don't use straps, okay? Uh, because you have to balance the bar in your hand. And this is a good indicator to let you know what part of your hand is actually weaker, if it's the back of your hand, the front of your hand. And the main difficulty with this exercise is you have to kind of find the ideal and perfect placement for your hand or else it'll start tipping. So that really challenges your grip strength. I wouldn't suggest an easy curl barbell just because it tilts. If you find one with like a funky handle that's like a U shape in the middle that's perfect for your hand, you can go ahead and use that because those won't tip as much. When I am at home and I really wanna hammer my traps, I use a farmer's walk handle. But you might be thinking, what's different than a dumbbell shrug? However, you're able to load up a lot of weight, okay? It challenges your grip 
And it's a great oblique and core exercise because the exercise is constantly trying to tilt you one way and you have to not allow that to happen. So number one, good for grip. Number two, good for your core. And number three, you do get a good trap stimulation. So it's more than just a shrug variation. So if I have to do shrugs, I always make sure it's accomplishing other things as well. So let's conclude this video. If standard shrugs are not doing it for you, you can try leaning forward slightly and doing them that way. And if that still doesn't work for you, you can try the two approved exercises in this video. The heavier one would be the trap bar shrug. You can strap up and go as heavy as you can with good form. The second one would be the one arm shrug with a barbell. Remember, if it's tough at first, try to find the shortest barbell you can. This is a really old school exercise that a lot of like old school strongman and powerlifters would do to build their grip, their core, and their traps all at the same time. Remember, you just have to find exercises that you respond to. Don't even listen to this video if you don't want to. Listen to yourself and what your body responds to. So if you like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Share the videos with your friends if you think they'll like them as well. And as always, class is dismissed.